Hi, I'm Janita. I'm the Client Relation Advisor here at the Dot HQ, and today we are talking about women in practice. So to discuss this, we have today uh, Julie from Nefos Accounts and Joanna from Gerald Edelman Accountants. Hi, Julie. Hi, Joanna. How are you both Hello. today? Uh, very well, thank you. Thank you for joining yes. us and welcome to this discussion on women in practice. Uh, Julie, would you like to start by uh, telling us a little bit about yourself? Uh, yeah, so I've been at Nefos for uh, just over two years um, in August. I actually started as um, a personal assistant to the founder of Nefos. Uh, one of the key functions of my role is ensuring that um, work is assigned out to the team that we're on track to hit deadline making sure that you know people are happy in their roles and if they've got any concerns they've got someone that they can you know come to and confide in and, and know that you know they can speak to someone um confidentially joanna would you like to tell us a little bit about yourself sure um i was born and raised in cyprus i came over to the uk to study economics once I finished university, I joined Gerald Edelman with the aim of just completing my qualification and returning back to Cyprus. But here I am 13 years later. So you had some plans, and but life had other plans for you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so Joanna, what did you want to be from a young age? What did you well, aspire I've to be? always wanted to be an airline pilot. Obviously, everyone loves traveling the world, yeah. seeing new places. So that's a cliche, but also I'm someone that always was pushing boundaries. And when I was wow. growing up, there weren't that many women pilots. So I mm -hmm. wanted to break into that. And similarly, it's what I've done in accountancy, which is predominantly male or uh, dominated. Absolutely. And what about you, Julie? What did you aspire to be from a young age? Um, so yeah, slightly embarrassing. I, I actually always really wanted to be a pop star. I, um, I, I loved singing when I was younger and, um, yeah, it was something that I always really wanted to do, but, uh, I wasn't very good at it. So I slowly came to the realization that it was never going to happen for me. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah, I always, I always wanted to do something really fun and really creative. <clears throat> And now I'm in accounting. So <laughs> it's not to uh, the discussion here. So with a high percentage of women in practice and a lower percentage of women in senior roles. So this kind of highlights, you know, there being an issue with struggle for women to uh, develop into the senior roles. So what are your thoughts on this, Joanna? It's a very demanding profession. And I have seen it throughout my career that a lot of women, because they need to juggle work, home right. life. It can be very demanding. And as you progress within accounting, within accountancy, it's not just about servicing your clients. You're also running a right. business. You are also taking part into running the practice. So right. you do have a dual role, one internal and one external. So there's so many different moving elements when it comes right. to accountancy and being in practice and progressing within within the, um, the profession That's really great what about you julie what do you think how this has you know what is your thoughts on this yeah it's similar to um joanna actually i i i know from being in my role it is very demanding and i i work part-time i have you know two children outside of work and it is typically women who have to look after you know the children and have family lives at home so have those other commitments and straight away. So Julie, how has your practice helped you uh, shape into the role that you are in currently? So I've been actually really lucky in that I um, initially um, started my role just after um, being on maternity leave actually. So I was looking for a position that was part-time that would cater for kind of school time hours. So um, I just needed something to kind of fill the time and um, when I started my position as I said it was um, I started as a PA um, I then slowly kind of went into um, people management and started saying to um, the founder of Nefos that you know we need to do 
um, monthly one-to-ones. We need to make sure that we're doing appraisals with the staff. And I kind of just went into that and he just kind of let me um, mold and shape the role that I wanted it to be. So I started doing the people management side of it. And then it was having a look at, right, how are we doing our workflows at the moment? How do we assign that work? How do we know that that work is being done um, efficiently and to a good standard? And I kind of then started going into that. And because, you know, I was actually getting listened to, it kind of gave me more and more confidence. And then I'd be like, right, mm-hmm. I want to do this as well. And I want to do that. What about you, Joanna? How has your practice helped you shape into your role? Um, I don't think they had a choice, really, because I'm a <laughs> quite strong and powerful personality. Um, so, yes, as, as soon as I became a manager, I felt similar to Julie. I felt empowered by the people around me that I had the autonomy to do anything I wanted and to improve the culture, the way we mm-hmm. work. Um, one of the initiatives I've brought in, um, I've introduced the talent circle to our firm. So it's a committee that concentrates on attracting and nurturing talent. And through oh. that, we've revamped our appraisal process. We've introduced a discretionary bonus scheme, a career progression plan, which is important, but a lot of different things. And I think by being a woman, I don't think I was different to any of my male mm-hmm. colleagues, which is the mm-hmm. most important part. You don't want to be treated differently yes. in any way. Yes. You just want to be heard, similar to everyone exactly. else. That's wonderful. So what? when did you think about entering the accounting industry? What was that aha moment for you? Like, this is it for me, you know? Was there a moment like that for you, Joanna? Um, not really. It was always at the back of my mind because of my grandfather was, was an accountant and he always wanted me to inherit his practice. And okay. since a young age, I used to take invoices to his ledger. What about you, Julie? When was that moment for you that you decided this is it for me? Um, so like I said earlier, it was for me having um, working in accounting wasn't always something that I um had aspired to do and actually i think i kind of thought of a accountants as that kind of stere- stereotypical someone that's always in front of you know a computer very serious very yeah. simple, very corporate yeah. um and actually when i joined um nefos it was the complete opposite everyone was very kind of casual very laid back very fun and outgoing um really lovely people so it was actually a really, really fun place to work. So, um, you know, when I kind of progressed further into that role, it was, you know, I don't think that um, I will ever leave the, the the job that I am in. That's lovely. And what is that one piece of advice that you would like to give young women accountants who want to join in something that you would, you know, want to share with them? Um, I think that... I think it's just having that confidence in yourself to be able to um, believe in yourself and actually push yourself forwards because there are a lot of um, practices that will um, help with any kind of study and support and have development programs in place to be able to give the right person Mm -hmm. that progression. And then that's all it is about is actually the right person that has the, the passion and the desire to actually want to go further. That's true. What about you, Joanna? Any piece of advice that you'd like to share with the young aspiring accountants out there, women accountants? Um, My advice is very similar to what Julie just mentioned. It's about being confident and believing your own ability. As women, we second guess ourselves when everyone else sees so much in us. And it's most, it comes from, from, from us. And that's what we need to improve. So I think believing yourself and listen to the people around you is the most important thing. Oh, that's lovely. I learned so much from you two today. <laughs> so thank you so much, Joanna and Julie, for joining us today on this discussion on women in practice. And I really appreciate the time that you spent for us today and hope to see you soon. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Janita. If you'd like to know more about the .hq, Nefos Accountants or Gerald Edelman Accountants, please see the details below.
and don't forget to like share comment and subscribe